Welcome back to Here and Now. The fate of Eddie Joyce now rests with the House of Assembly. The commissioner found that he broke the code of conduct when he pushed to have a friend hired into a government job. Well, there's lots to talk about. Eddie Joyce is with me here in the studio. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. Last night we had Tracy Perry on the show. Yeah. She said that the reason she filed a complaint against you was she wanted to improve the way politics is done. Why do you think she filed the complaint? Well, first of all, um, uh, 16 of the 17 complaints, all complaints with bullying and harassment has been taken care of. There has been no bullying and harassment that, that any allegation that was made against me for bullying and harassment was confirmed today uh, by the commissioner when he met with there was no bullying and harassment in the House of Assembly. Uh, Tracy Perry, in my personal opinion, uh, uh, why she came for it was all politics. It was completely political. And, is, and I, I remember Dale Kirby made the statement there just a while back is that if you don't get what you want, you can politicize it. In this case here, absolutely 100%, Tracy Perry, even in her letter in the commissioner that she wrote, she said, I never got the answers I needed. Not the right answers. It was about a, a funding for a district in her, in her town that we wrote six, seven times. We would have to break all rules. But because she never got it, she went and started trying to say, we'll go behind your back to get this. But she says in her complaint that it's not just the fact that she wasn't happy with your decision, but it's the way that you treated her. The fact yeah. that you slammed down a computer, yeah. that you weren't respectful. Just, just remember, just because Tracy Perry said it is not true. I have documentation that you just seen that there was four witnesses who put statements in, two out of the three because the commissioner didn't need to see the rest, that said, this did not happen. I walked away. Tracy Perry, as I said, followed me. I kept going. Betty Parsley, in her statement and in her interview with the commissioner, stated that Tracy Perry actually was accosting me, hauling my jacket. John Finn, another one, when I was trying to leave the House of Assembly, she followed me, leaving John Finn and counted 12 times when I asked Tracy Perry to put the request in writing. So because Tracy Perry said I slammed down the computer, there are five witnesses. Some were interviewed and said, this never happened. It just never happened. And two days later, as I just read what Tracy Perry said, thank me very much for my consideration and work two days later. When Tracy Perry said I slammed down my computer and that I wouldn't speak to her, it's just not true. Do you see anything wrong with your behavior? And in actual fact, when it was done with Tracy Perry, and she sent me notes later, it was smiley faces on it. And the reason why is, is the seat funding that she was looking for, making the political that she couldn't get, she received more funding last year than any year previous by her own documentation that she put in. Tracy Perry alone, I used to give Tracy Perry on a heads up when Capital Works was being announced so she can call the mayors. I went down to her towns uh, when the flood was uh, happening. I sit down with her with Capital Works and say, what's your priorities in the district? I had never, ever treated Tracy Perry with any disrespect, the only thing Tracy Perry, and I say, quote here, I never got what I needed. But even if there was an intimidation, this sort of behavior that you're talking about, do you think it's okay for politics to operate like this, or do you think this is an opportunity like, like, I, for I, I, everyone uh, to reevaluate how things work? In general, if people feel uncomfortable with the way uh, something is done and said, I, I have no problem with it uh, whatsoever. People feel, okay, we have to look at this whole issue. But I cannot stand by, I cannot stand by and let this six months of my life, my family, my supporters, to make allegations that are totally false. The commissioner found, and the commissioner Ruben Thomas found every allegation of bullying and intimidation not true, nothing to it. All documentation has just showed. Okay? And now all of a sudden Bruce Chalk come out and say, oh, by the way, you're right on all that. Well, you didn't bully and intimidate, but I might find your code of conduct for a job that the public service commissioner said something never happened. The deputy minister said he was never contacted on it. The person who job never even got an interview. If anybody who, who worked in the system, once you don't get an interview, which in January, and this was April, this is almost three and a half, four months later saying that there was still an issue, it's absolutely false. It's over in Whitburn, it's over the compost facility where she threatened me to stop the compost facility, where she asked towns to put in letters, of, of encourage, as she encouraged towns to get involved. And I told her, as a minister, you have to stay out of it. Have you had a conversation with the Premier about your future? Uh, no, I haven't, no. Um, uh, what I told the Premier is, is um, and I was uh, very frank with the Premier, I said I will defend myself and my family. 
and uh, and the supporters, and he will do what he has to do, and I understand that 100%. I haven't discussed the, um, um, but I will tell you um, what I went through with Sherry Gammon Walsh, and uh, what I went through uh, with my family. I will never sit in a cabinet or caucus with Sherry Gammon Walsh, just on principle alone, and just for protection of me and my family. I would never sit in a caucus, and the premier. I'm not putting any pressure on the premier because the premier makes a decision. But I feel confident that when I get this whole story out, I feel confident that Eddie Joyce will be vindicated because there's more to this here that I will get out in the House of Assembly. And so, so isn't that kind of an ultimatum to him, though? It's, it's either her or me? No, there's no ultimatum. No, there's absolutely no ultimatum whatsoever. I'm just telling you, this is my personal feelings and my family that, that I spoke to. I mean, just not an ultimatum. I'm just saying what I'm going to do. The Premier of the province could do what he likes. I will never give the Premier. I respect the position too much. And, and I, re I respect the office of the Premier too much. It's no ultimatum. Do you plan to continue as an independent then if she's not removed? What does oh, yes. the future for Eddie Joyce look um, like? Um, um, m m my goal, uh, Peter, and the always has been, is, is the uh, uh, people of the uh, Hummer Bay Valence. Number one, uh, if, uh, if uh, and it's the premier. I would never put pressure on the premier. I would never say that. I Dwight Ball's a friend of mine. I would never say it, but uh, I would do myself and the people who supported me a disservice, a complete disservice, if I ever said that you could attack my family, you could attack my friends, and everything's okay. It's not mine. What have you learned through all of this? I I, I tell you, I tell you what I learned, Peter, is that. When you're kind and being nice to people, there are certain people out there that, that, that's going to come and try to undo your kindness. Um, around the province of Newfoundland Labrador, I work well. Mr. Pelley's, I work very well. Um, the, the, um, the PMA Association, they were, wait, couldn't wait for me to come back. Uh, m and Phone some of those people that I always say. I always said, phone, uh, some, uh, some, phone Dwayne Antle of the Firefoot Association. How I work with people. That's what that's what I uh, that's what I miss the most. But what I learned, there are some people that can um, uh, make allegations that, that that can be very tough on your family. Uh, some allegations that can be very tough on your friends and supporters. But I'm blessed. I got a lot of friends and supporters, and a lot of support in the family.